Hello, today's talk is about breast cancer treatment. My name is Henry. I'm a breast surgeon from Melbourne, Australia. Now, if you or a family member is diagnosed with breast cancer, what treatment options are available? Well, hopefully this talk will help you to further understand about breast cancer treatments. Now, when a patient is diagnosed with breast cancer, we first try to understand more about the patient themselves. What are their wishes? What is their approach to their treatment? What is their health status? What medications do they take? We put this information together with factors about the breast tumor itself. How aggressive is it? Where has it spread? We take these two important bits of information and we're able to discuss this in what we call a multidisciplinary meeting. This is a discussion of um, doctors and healthcare workers of whom together formulate a treatment plan for this patient that is diagnosed with breast cancer. Now there are five standard treatment options for breast cancer and these five options are used most often in combination to best treat the cancer. This provides a tailored and the very best treatment for the cancer and hopefully allow the patient to overcome and have a cure. These five treatment options include surgery, radiation therapy, hormonal therapy, chemotherapy, and targeted therapy. So let's go through each of these treatment categories and talk about what their purpose is and also what are the new advances in these areas. So first, surgery. Surgery is an operation. It is performed by a surgeon with the purpose of removing the tumour from the breast itself and or removing or testing the local lymph nodes where the cancer may have spread. For the breast itself, if we remove only the tumour, that is called a lumpectomy. But if we determine that it may be um, unsafe or not have a good outcome of removing only the lump, then removal of the entire breast may be recommended, which is called a mastectomy. In addition to this, the lymph glands under the arm are where the breast cancer are most likely to have spread. Um, we may recommend sampling the, um, these lymph nodes in a special targeted way called a central lymph node biopsy, or if there is highly suspected or proven cancer in these glands already, then the complete removal of them is the best recommended treatment. Now, new advances in surgery include oncoplastic surgery, which involves safely removing the breast tumor from the breast, but for the remaining breast tissue, using special techniques to maintain or even improve the aesthetic shape of the breast. For those where mastectomies are recommended, there are many new advances in breast reconstruction so that with the removal of the breast tissue, this can be replaced with the patient's own tissue or a breast implant in a way that can reconstruct and make the breast look exactly like it was before. Some of the side effects of surgery though, include a scar and a change in the breast shape, pain in the area where the surgery has been performed. If lymph nodes have been removed under the arm, there is a possibility of arm swelling. Also, if the tumour could not be completely removed, there is a chance for a second operation to um, remove the margins or the edges of where the tumour used to be. Next is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy involves um, infusing a very strong medication throughout the body and is administered under the supervision of a medical oncologist. The purpose of chemotherapy is to kill small tumor cells that may have spread throughout the body. This can only be given directly into the vein and therefore is only given in a hospital because of the powerful um, nature of this medication. It requires close monitoring. This can be given around one or every one or three weeks over an eight to 12 week time period. Recent advances in chemotherapy means that we're able to have a much more tailored regime that minimize side effects for the patient. We also have a variety of potential combinations and timing of these combinations so that the patient has the least side effects, but also most effectively treats the breast cancer. Some of the side effects of chemotherapy are related to the fact that some chemotherapies also affect healthy cells. Therefore, some patients will experience tiredness, low immunity, GI upset, hair loss, and numbness. 
One of the most recent advances to breast cancer treatment is targeted therapies. These are new agents of which can target exactly the breast cancer tumor cells only. This is also given as a hospital infusion by a medical oncologist. An example of a targeted therapy is trastuzumab. Trastuzumab works by blocking a, a special receptor of which promotes growth only in breast cancer cells. This therefore can target and only kill the breast cancer cells, leaving the healthy cells in the body untouched. This um, is also given intravenously, also done in a hospital for monitoring purposes, and done once every three weeks for approximately a year. The advances in this treatment is that we've seen dramatic effects of patients that are treated with targeted therapies. The tumor cells themselves and the tumor bulk can, can melt away or even completely disappear because of this treatment. The side effects are much less than chemotherapy because they only target the tumor cells only. Some patients still experience tiredness, headache, GA upset, and some heart changes. The fourth treatment to talk about is radiation therapy. These are x-ray treatments administered by a radiation oncologist. This is radiation therapy that can be done only to the breast or to special regions of where the breast cancer is thought to have spread. This is timed to be done once per day for around four to six weeks. Now, advantage to radiotherapy is that although the x-rays themselves can be toxic to the body, um, this can now be focused and targeted to only specific parts of, where, of the body where the tumour is suspected to be. This therefore reduces the total amount of dose of radiation treatment that is given to the patient and also only treating those parts of the body where the tumour is thought to be. There are some side effects of radiation therapy which include tiredness and skin changes over the areas of treatment and sensory changes as well. However, patients generally have very, very good tolerance to radiation therapy and many of them still work while receiving this treatment. Next is endocrine therapy. Now, some breast tumors can be encouraged to grow by natural circulating female hormones. If these are blocked, it can reduce the growth and also reduce the risk of the same cancer coming back in the future. These hormonal blockers are recommended under the supervision of a medical oncologist or a surgeon and include a variety of tablets or injections. These, these tablets are generally done once per day over a period of a number of years. The advances in endocrine therapy is mainly in understanding how they work and the effectiveness of them and how long they are recommended for. They also can be adjusted for young and older women in terms of the type and the um, time frame of the dosing. The side effects of endocrine therapy is uh, because it blocks the natural female hormones, people do experience symptoms such as menopause, mood and sleep disturbances. Finally, here are some questions that you might want to ask your treating team if you are diagnosed with breast cancer. This includes, what is my overall treatment plan recommended to me? Why has this been recommended to me? What are the order of the different treatments and what can I expect as the next treatment coming up? Also, are there any new treatments available? Now, some of you diagnosed with breast cancer may be eligible for a clinical trial. Now, what a clinical trial is, is research that is looking into the latest and the most advanced treatments. And you may be eligible to be part of a clinical trial where you are still under the safe supervision of leading experts, but also involved in hopefully a treatment that may improve the outcome for patients with breast cancer and your own treatment as well. So breast cancers, um, clinical trials are something you can inquire about if you're diagnosed with breast cancer. So thank you for listening to this talk. I hope this has improved your understanding of breast cancer treatments that will allow you to make more informed decisions about your treatments. Thank you very much.